Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. One moment guys. Anyways, so today, or tonight, this shave is one I've just been looking so forward to for a bit now. Um, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're using. The razor is my birthday, my birth year is a birth year razor for me. And it is this one. 1969, second quarter, or 02, Gillette 109 Super Adjustable, also known as the Black Beauty. I got this from Sackman or Christian Saccone. Um, he has his channel, uh, Groomsmen, with some other guys. And I got this. It's just such a wonderful price. If you haven't seen the mail call video, I did a couple of videos back. Um, you know, you can check it out. The set, it is set on 9. At least I believe it's 9. Let's see here. Well, let's go back this way. Can I have two pieces of candy? Yes. Yeah. But no more candy, okay? Okay. All right, thank you, bud. Love you. Love you too, son. Yes. My boy, Michael. What? I'm talking to the camera, son. And I said, my boy Michael, and he's like, huh? <laughs> and the brush is one that I picked up from another gentleman, E.J. Ronalds, on one of the BST groups. And it's this one, that darn Rob brush. Um, my girlfriend says it doesn't look like a fan knot to her, but when I feel the up here on the top and the bottom, it flattens out. So I think it might be a fan. I'm, yeah, we'll just go with it. <laughs> and the shave, though, is, oh, by the way, that darn Rob, he now goes under Chisel and Hound. And the shave, though, is one that I actually got a sample of. And it's from HCNC, Hendrix Classic Companies. And it is Badass Shave Soap. Um, I looked on their site, and the description of the scent is citrus contrasts with the oak moss and white cedar wood. So, go with that. My girlfriend, to me, kind of smells a little leathery, maybe a little bit tobacco-y, but, you know. And I'm whipping it up in my timeless lather bowl. I got a nice little glob in there, about half. So let's go ahead, let's leather, the, la, not leather, lather this soap up. This was my very first true lather bowl. It was like 13, 12 something, almost 13 bucks over on Timeless's website. Oh yeah, that's already whipping up into a nice lather. A little bit of warm water in there. Anyways, I'll go ahead and lather this up. And I'll be back. Anyways, guys. The brush. Nicely loaded. There's a little bit more soap on the bottom, but I'll just save that for the head shave. Anyways, we'll go ahead and wet the face and get lathering. I've got, quite frankly, over a week's worth of growth. Um, tonight was like, I gotta get in there and take a shower because um, last week, my girlfriend, late night, comes in to use the bathroom and sometimes um thoughts plug plug up so clogged up on her so she uses the um plunger And 
water kind of goes down. So, she uh, goes to flush it. The water didn't come up over the side of the bowl. It came out onto the floor at the base. Oh man, I got leather popping off here. Um, the brush is really, really nice. I really like how it feels. But, so, next day, call the rental office. I got to rinse my hands. And I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get somebody out there. Well, horse playing phone tag ends up having the plumber not contacting the office when they would call him and, and just ignoring calls. I mean, it was a mess. So finally, Thursday, first pass with the growth. Nice. Gillette Silver Blue on second use. I think I said that. Yep. Um, thing very nice, very comfortable. Um, it's very similar to a slim adjustable. But it feels really good. But anyways, so finally it's Thursday. The plumber gets out here. And I didn't hear it, but my girlfriend did. He's like, comes in, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. And I knew the wax ring was toast because tolts don't do that if their wax ring is good. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. I get off at five. And my girlfriend's like, uh, no, we've been without a toilet since Friday night. You need to do it. You got an hour, you can do it, she tells them. Me, if I would have heard that, I would have been like, I will call your supervisor. But, yeah. Do his job within 45 minutes, so. And we were very, very busy past couple of days taking care of stuff and my girlfriend, she's It's not quite nine in, at night here, but she's fast out because today she had injections in her lower back, so she's kind of zonked out. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off, be back for the second pass. So, yeah. Been a little busy. And today I, uh, I was like, I am getting in there and I am taking a shower and I am going to break in my new birth year black beauty. So I received something today in the mail that's going to be really, really cool for an upcoming shave because I got two things coming one courtesy of a fellow youtuber I won't mention I won't mention until it gets here and I ended up if you haven't checked out Tobin's throwbacks 
the Tobin, what is it, Tobin's, Tobin's throwbacks with Tobin feathers, Tobin's feathers. Um, he's got a good channel. He's got a really good channel and he was having a brush giveaway from, what is it, the wet shaving store? And I, I won that, so I'm looking forward to using that when it gets here. I just found out last night, so I emailed him and was like, hey dude, here's my address, so. And then I went ahead and signed up for a free sample of something that's very pop, that well, it's expensive. So, having a sample of it for me is really cool. Cross the growth. Almost got myself. Don't want to screw up the stash because I like it. Very nice. Very nice. All right, rinse off and we'll be back for the third. I almost forgot, have a new subscriber. Um, he has a channel. He's done, what, two videos so far. If you're into bicycling, you might wanna check the guy out. It's, his channel is Rear derailleur tutorials and um, I'll link his channel down in the the description um, but anyways welcome rear derailleur tutorials hope you really enjoy your time here on the channel couple other subscribers I'd like to mention that I just recently picked up. Only thing is, is, well, I didn't get notification saying who they were. Just numbers picked up by two. So now I'm up to 163. Woohoo! That's some big time numbers right there, guys. Kevy Shaves. Ken Surfs, all you guys, watch out, I'm coming for you. <laughs> no, um, I'm just thrilled that I'm at 163 subscribers. Against the growth, very smooth going against the growth with this razor. I'm not sure, but I think it's, oh, out of the three Gillette adjustables I have, the E2-1959 Fat Boy, the J2-1964 Slim Adjustable, and this one, I oh, don't know. They're all pretty smooth against the growth, but this one, hmm, don't know, might, might be, might be, we'll have to see.
Nice. Um, this is like pretty slick soap. As you can see. Just caught myself there. It wasn't the soap's fault, it was mine. I went ahead and I kind of flexed my eyes, kind of like, yeah, I moved my chin a little bit and it nipped me. All right, gonna go ahead and rinse off. Let's see if I gotta do any pickups. No, it doesn't look like it. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty darn good, guys. Pretty good. Uh, oh, I missed some soap, so. Anyways, be back in one sec for the album. I ended up getting a little bit of soap in my eye. Sucks when you only got one not one good eye. <laughs> Anyways. Face was wet, so I didn't have to wet the other one. A little bit of stinging. That's it. Just a little bit. Ah, right there where I got myself. Mm. Let that dry down for a minute, rinse off. I'm um, gonna go ahead and cut away here, shave the dome. I'll be back for the post. All right, guys, we're back and shaved the dome using the leaf on um, three half Astra SP blades. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Might have to trim up a little down here, not sure. No, it's all right. Screw it. Um, yeah. Really, really happy with that shape. Anyways, let's take a look at what we use. The razor was my 1969 second quarter Gillette 109 Super Adjustable, aka Black Beauty. Wonderful, wonderful razor. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and put it up against the Fat Boy and the Slim Adjustable because I really, really enjoyed the shave off of that 109. Um, really liked it. The blade was a uh, Gillette Silver Blue on its second use. The brush, that darn rob, guys. And, you know, tell me, guys, does that look like a fan bulb to you? But, see, there's a little face there. Absolutely wonderful brush. Got it for 50 bucks on a BST group. Along with the, the um, Grizzly Bay brush, which I actually paid 80 for, both of them. Very, very, very happy with the purchase. It's a great brush. I really like it. The soap was from a sample of Hendrix Classic and Company's Badass Shave Soap. Um, really, really liked it. Slick soap. I mean, just really performed really well. I'll go ahead and link in the description. So let's move on to the post shave. T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Oh, my timeless bowl. Go right there. And of course, I didn't show up. My timeless bowl. If you want a bowl that ain't gonna break if you drop it, timeless is a good one. Yeah, it's not the hand. It's not the the copper like. Who is that? Captain's Choice, but it's not going to cost you 30 something, 40 something bucks. Um, aftershave, bomba de bomb bomb. Let's go with this. I ain't going to worry which one is. It's that one. 
I believe it's my dove. I gotta get some more Nivea. There we go. This dove, yeah, it's the dove. Definitely the dove. I think. <laughs> Um, did I get BBS everywhere I shaved with razor? No, no, I didn't. I have a few razors that can get me absolutely BBS everywhere on the face. Um, I love my I love my vintage Gillettes, but I mean, it's you know not really hit and miss with them. Just some, some just seems to just perform much better. Like a Gillette old type open comb. Those are efficient. Senator, pretty efficient. So, uh, what next? They did the pump. Oh yeah, the aftershave. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put the name down in the description or down in the, the comments. I'll pin the name. But it's one my girlfriend picked up for me at a, what you call it, the dollar store once. It comes in a spray. I like the scent. Ah, smells good got some alcohol in so of course you get a little bit of burn anyways guys that's the shave thank you so much for joining me welcome once again to rear derailleur tutorials last time i looked he had less than 20 sub subscri subscribers um you know if you're into bicycling uh you know mountain bikes all that and you know, odds are your bike's got a derailleur. Uh, go ahead and check out his channel. You might go ahead and find some cool stuff, you know, information as time goes by. Because he's, like I said, he's only done, like, a couple of videos. There. Put a little on it. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Likes, comments, subscriptions. I always appreciate it. Um, you need to reach me. My email's in the about section. Anyways, y'all take it easy, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.